so for today's vlog idea i think we're gonna just talk about quickly about how many features is too much in nepal like there are cars these days with just ample amount of features and while that necessarily may not be a bad thing we are at a point where there's just about a new feature in cars for everything blind spot detection seat belt warnings whether you've plugged in seat belts or not ADAS preventive tech seat cooling seat heating you name it like anti-glare like long ago there used to be like a physical dial here where you had to figure it out <laughs> but now it's all just built in and creature comforts is great like anything that makes the process of driving easier is a god bless to me but there comes a point when how much car do you really need is the question that arises like at some point if anything goes wrong with these features are they repairable there's that whole debate on whether things can be repaired or not and whether they need to be completely replaced or not so yeah are they repairable and what do you do about it if it is not repairable do you suddenly have to like replace the entire unit i know as customers we always pay like a certain amount of money and we expect an x amount of features and things in return but where do you draw the line in that like what's too much to be asked for and what's too little to be asked for just something i've been thinking about and i don't know with cars coming in these days with so many different features from cameras to like sensors cars have become more of a software thing uh, like just now because it was dark the theme in the car just changed and it will again change into a bright theme now that i'm outside a tunnel and it's become less of a physical thing but more of a how much can you pay in returns for a physical car versus whether it's a software or not and that's just a question that we probably ponder about about whether is enough car or i don't know let me know what you think about it like what's your standard bar for like how much car is enough car for you um, personally for me a car that you can drive and it gets you from point a to b is pretty decent like i'm not too much into having all the latest features but hey if they make the driving experience more pleasurable than i am 100% for it but anyway let me know your take on it and i'll see you on the next one